Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video here to open up the forum for you guys to definitely give your thoughts on the topic that I'm going to talk about in this video. I want to do more videos like this, just get the discussion going a little bit. But um, this is a topic that I talk about every now and again on this channel. It's just something generally we're going to talk about. And that is the fact that with all these other storefronts being opened up and certain publishers taking to their storefront and other publishers also going back to Steam, it's caused this a bit of a divide and also it has caused a lot of discussion over the last couple of years with buying your games on Steam, utilizing other platforms, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. And actually... What made me want to do this video is a Cromwell over on Twitter, who is director of publishing Larian Studios, one of the best Twitter follows, guys. If you have a Twitter account, I highly recommend you give them a follow, give him a follow, because uh, this man has some of the best takes that I've seen, and also incredibly humble, even after the success of Baldur's Gate 3. I saw him chime in a lot when there was a lot of Starfield and Baldur's Gate 3 talk, and just kind of tempering people, and generally speaking, like, just very much a agree with him on a lot of things and not only agree it makes me think about certain things hence why this video is even happening so credit to him and give him a follow because he's great um you know you guys probably don't need me to tell you to follow him but he's a great follow uh so what he noted on Twitter, uh, he tweeted this out yesterday, 9.20 p.m. There are so many games now that I'm uh, com very comfortable saying that if a PC game isn't on Steam, I'ma skip it. Thank you for helping with my backlog. I like at least that GOG exists with its idealism and function, but man, using another launcher is a hard sell in 2023. He continued, sometimes within the industry, people find this controversial, but I will honestly not understand the idea of making a game and then not putting it where all the people who want to play the game are. I get the long game, I understand risk mitigation, but it's time to move on. I'm talking about the PC ecosystem, there are games I would buy on console instead, but not, for example, reinstall another PC distribution platform because it's annoying, it annoys me, I want it on my Steam Deck. Very big point there. Um, with my cloud saves and socials and achievements, boy oh boy, what a string of tweets, and it's really interesting to see this line of thinking coming from somebody within the industry and just being very public about it, just being kind of vocal about it about it and I'm like whoa when I saw this dude I was like you know you can think something like this but actually putting it on a public platform I thought that was a little bit surprising now I would also recommend if you're interested there's a lot of good dialogue underneath and people going back and forth and people bringing up a lot of good points so Let's break this down, uh, because a, a lot of what he's saying, I completely agree with. The first thing he says, I think, is more important than anything. There are so many games now. End, end the tweet there, because that is one of the key factors of why I think it's really hard to get other storefronts over. Look, there are games out there, I will concede, that are so big and so important to you that you need to play them day one. You need to play it right away. You'll buy a console. You'll you'll buy a console for that game. You'll go ahead and install another, um, another you know, software like the Epic Game Store. You'll, uh, you'll install a PC distribution service. But those games are exceedingly few and far between. I'll offer you guys this. I think in Alan Wake 2, that for some people is going to be big enough for them to install the Epic Game Store. And there's also the factor with Alan Wake 2, and I talked about this in a recent video, that that game might skip Steam altogether in perpetuity because Epic Games is publishing that game. I think a lot of people are getting it twisted. If Alan Wake 2 ends up on Steam, I think it would be more indicative of Epic Games kind of throwing in the towel with Epic Game Store, which... I ain't gonna lie, I think it's ultimately gonna happen at some point. I don't know how long you can keep bleeding money like this, but, you know, let's not get into that topic, but... Alan Wake 2, I think, is a game at that level. Assassin's Creed Mirage, obviously only on Ubisoft Connect right now. It is available on Epic Game Store as well. That game, like, I don't, I think that game is getting its sales cut tremendously by it skipping Steam. And again, with Steam, you would still go through Ubisoft Connect, but that's the power of Steam. And I do think that AC Mirage is going to get shafted in terms of its sales numbers. I think a crew motor fest 
absolutely got shafted in terms of its sales numbers. I think Avatar Frontiers of Pandora will. I think Prince of Persia will. If those games all skip Steam, uh, I think those games are going to have a hard sell on Ubisoft Connect. And I know why Ubisoft is doing it because they're really trying to, first of all, push their subscription service. Second of all, push their new storefront. And they're doing the same thing that so many other guys did. A lot of other guys did it and then ultimately went back and put their games back on Steam. I'm looking at you, EA. I'm looking at you now, Battle.net or Blizzard, I should say. Diablo 4 is freaking coming coming to Steam, and who would have thought that? Ultimately, these games end up back on Steam, and Steam is the PC platform that everybody wants to use. Now, the argument can be made, and there's a lot of rhetoric in the Twitter thread that, you know, should you uh, should you want Steam to be this monopoly? Should you want Steam to be the be-all, end-all? But that's not what the general rhetoric is we don't nobody wants games exclusive to steam we say put games everywhere we've been like that with console games as well and i'm i'm of the mindset that you know there are some things i can understand like alan wake 2 that's a game that epic games is publishing outright and you know what do whatever the hell you want with it. Same thing with Assassin's Creed Mirage. It's Ubisoft's game. Do whatever the hell you want with it. Would I want it on Steam? Yes, I think the game is ultimately being done a disservice by not being on Steam, but it's your property. You're publishing the game. Uh, it is what it is. What I hate is the timed exclusivity drivel, the nonsense. Timed exclusivity is so is such garbage. Like, Sony does it. Epic Games does it. And it's like, bro, Epic Games, it's like, it's timed exclusivity to prevent it from being on another store front i want to see dead island 2 sales numbers guys i want to see dead island 2 sales numbers how did that game do on the epic game store versus if that game was available on steam i'm sure deep silver made out like bandits by signing up for that deal but that game isn't selling a ton more copies and it's just unfortunate that that like a dead island to a saints row 2022 i get it that you know you're just trying to get people to jump on over but like these games are not an alan wake 2 at least in my eyes where people are gonna be like yeah bro in droves i should say they're gonna be like yeah bro i need the epic game store to play saints row 2022 you know those games i think these days are very very few and far between and you know for me there are certain Certainly titles that are PlayStation 5 exclusives that have carved out that I need to play this game right away type thinking. A Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, which by the way is a timed exclusive as well. F off Sony with that, it'll eventually be on PC, but it's like three months of timed exclusivity and they're probably good on Square Enix for getting the bag, but my goodness, I wish it was just available on PC right away as well for that game. Spider-Man 2... And obviously, that's a game that uh, people are going to buy a PS5 for and uh, play it on PS5 right away. It will probably ultimately be on PC, but probably not for a couple of years like a Horizon Forbidden West. Um, I do think sometimes, fr from my vantage point especially... Maybe I have an unhealthy obsession with wanting to get Steam hours and wanting all my games on Steam. I can understand, definitely. And when people tell me, you know, why do you want Steam to be this dominant platform? Well, because Steam is just the best platform on the market on PC. I, I, if there was a different PC distribution service that was as effective and was great as well, by all means, do that. And I think, you know, the Xbox app, given that it's tied to Game Pass, that's an app that has a lot of value. Would people love Love to see Game Pass integrated to Steam, yes, but, uh, you know, the Game Pass, uh, given the value that Game Pass offers, like, yes, I understand why that app has a lot of value, and that's probably the one that people use the most outside of Steam, like, I don't have any exact numbers, but I would have to imagine that just because of the value Game Pass offers, I know there's stuff like, you know, WoW's on Battle.net, but excluding stuff like that, I'm talking about, like, just general games, um, you know, but that's my two cents on that. I do think maybe, like, let me let me know what you guys think. Do I have an unhealthy obsession with wanting all my games on Steam? Should I be more open to playing, you know, Dead Island 2 on the Epic Game Store? Maybe I should. Maybe my line of thinking is faulty. Maybe the fact that I have this allegiance towards Steam on PC isn't a good thing, but Steam is the best platform. It's where all my friends are at. It's the one where all my games are at. I like this unified front, and um, you know, the Steam Deck element to it is a big factor as well. I know you can get your games on the Steam Deck well, and, you know, you can get everything on the Steam Deck, but it just makes it very, um you know, easy. It just makes it very easy when it's all available on Steam. I use the ROG Ally now more so than the deck, so it's like those games are perfectly fine. Like, I can install Ubisoft Connect, and it's pretty easy. It just runs on Windows, but that'll do it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I just... I really wanted to talk about this after I saw this tweet. I'm like, yeah, Steam is, like, Steam is king. And 
I we don't have actual sales numbers. The only thing we saw is that 10% of the sales of the PC version of Cyberpunk 2077 were on GOG versus every other storefront, and you would have to imagine the rest of it was mostly on Steam. Um, but I would love to see, like, actual sales numbers and figure out, like, what is the disparity? How many, how many copies are you actually cutting in from getting sold by being an exclusive to the Epic Game Store or being exclusive to Battle.net? Like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2... Shafted. Crash Bandicoot 4, Shafted. Those games got done dirty by being on Battle.net only. But, uh, you know, yeah, we don't have exact numbers, so I can't actually speak on actual factual data. But you would have to think uh, that would be the case. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Curious to hear your guys' input. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.